Hello fellow and welcome back to today's video. We're jumping right back into Skyrim today and I'm super excited as always but today we're going to be starting the Dark Brotherhood quest line so without further ado let's go talk to Avant and Sorrentino. And for a drink check today I do have green tea as you saw in the intro and I also have water. Sartino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar, always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child, wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! <laughs> then I'm right, I knew it! He's trying to have somebody killed! All right, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Aretino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Okay. Sweet mother, sweet Mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in... You've come at last! I knew... It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came! An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood! It took so long, so very long, but now that you're here, you can accept my contract! My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the Kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you can kill Grella the Kind! Okay. Sorry. To no honest, worries. I'm kind of lonely here. Aventus, she's had it coming. It's literally no big deal. Okay. Let's go get her. I run the meat and produce stand at the market. Come by and see if you want to the freshest food. Oh, what time is it? Probably won't be asleep yet. I'll get her once everyone's in bed. Please, lady. You gotta get me out of here. Ever since Aventus left, Grella's been even meaner than usual. I swear, she's gonna kill one of us. Oh. What do you want? You have no business being in here. Yes, Grella. Who? Please just let me says hello. He knows. Why, that little bastard. You tell him I'm coming for him, and when I find him, it'll be the beating of his miserable life. All right, so with that being said, you I'll be right back. Be here. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna wait till they're all asleep. I'm not trying to traumatize. You like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? The kids more than they're already traumatized by that woman, so. Let's see if they're asleep now. It's pretty bright out for 1 a.m. Okay, quick save.
She kind of already looks gone. <laughs> Ensure one shot. Oh. What? Why is it going through her? Okay. We'll reload it. Visibility, but that's okay, right? Okay, got out of there pretty fast. Okay, let's go back and talk to Aventus. Well, she had it coming, so, you know, I don't think there's really a need to feel bad. Kids are finally free, in some well, capacity. Well, of the kind. Is she, you know... Aha! I knew you could do it! I just knew it! I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me! Here, just like I promised, this should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again! No worries, kiddo. Okay, there we have it. Well, should we go back to Riften? I had forgot, oh, wait a second, what we'll do um, quests. We can go get Branche's clue really quick and then take it back to Riften and then I'll just sleep at the B&Bar. Bar. Be a little steep. Oh. Oof. Okay. I mean, we don't have to go back to Riften to sleep, but I figured because I forgot to do this quest in the last Skyrim episode when um, I helped the people of Riften, that I would just finish it now. Because it won't take that long, I don't think.
at least my bow skills are doing pretty okay today. Okay, we'll drop this off super fast and then we'll sleep at the B and Barb. I just don't know where the enemy is. Well, that went pretty fast so far. Heard they're reforming the dawn guard. That old woman who runs the orphanage has been murdered. Say, didn't I see you coming out of there? No. Lifton's under my protection. You watch yourself now. Um, Branche, please step a little closer. Branche? Hello? Just walk a tad bit closer. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? I can't just open the door. Oh, Don't it, there we go. If you're ever in the market, let me see that. Yes, yes, this is it. I don't know how you found this stranger. You've obviously succeeded where I have failed. Please, let me offer you this key. It unlocks my strong box under my stand in the marketplace. Help yourself to anything inside. Ooh. I really appreciate what you've done for me. I'll never forget it. Let's just call it square because <laughs> I put you in there, poor Branch A. Okay, let's go head over. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, here we go. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Oh, sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. This one. Sleep well. Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod. Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. 
You see, that little Eratino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from, well, that's not really important. The here and now, that's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on, see if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. See, I knew we could resolve this civilly. A debt owed must be repaid. You understand that. Well, get to it then. Pick your guest and send the poor fool to the void. I'll give you the key to this shack and you'll be on your way. Okay, let's hear him out. I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. My name is Full Time. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a self sword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? What? Oh, God. I, I don't want to die. Okay, well, I guess it's possible. I've been selling my sword arm for years now. It kills a lot of people. Could be someone wanted revenge. But, uh, but you're not going to kill me, right? Get these things out of your damn business, who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Edmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would spit right in your face. Excuse me, what kind of question is that? I'm kneeling here with my hands bound and a sack over my head. And you have the gall to ask me that? What do you think, genius? I'm thinking I you're going to be the one to take the arrow. <laughs> oh, everything. Ah. Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I would have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Me? <laughs> Are you serious? Fool, don't you get it? I live in the shadow of death every day. A knife in every doorway. A knocked arrow on every rooftop. If one of my enemies would not pay to have me killed, I would take it as a personal insult. Tell you what. You release me and I promise my associates will not cut you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that there's no right answer to this, that she just wants to see that you are going to kill them. So if anybody disagrees with my decisions, I'm sorry. My reasoning is they are, you know, the most mean, and this guy, you know, he kind of does what I do, you know? If you're a blade for hire, then uh, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. <laughs> hmm. The fearless wife and mother and the underhanded Khajiit. Had to be one of them, right? Interesting choice. Is what it is. Indeed. For you, my friend, seem to understand what's truly important. When I give an order to spill blood, you follow it. No questions, no remorse. Of course, 
and you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family, the Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure I usually do the same thing in the past. I've done this quest so many times, but I don't remember what I usually do. I'm sure I've had times where I've gotten all of them, but I don't know. Okay. <sighs> well, we did it. Well, let's go ahead and head over to Falkreath. Here we go with the enemies nearby again. Where are the enemies? I never realized that we're literally right outside of solitude. How have I never realized that? For some reason, I always thought we were by Morthal because I just come straight out of the door and look that way and then just fast travel. Weird. Okay. Will it let me now, please? It's not super hidden, and there's like literally a path to it. What is the music of life? Welcome At last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. 
May it serve you well in all your endeavors. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put that on now. and introduce yourself to your new family members. Oh, I can't run. Hmm, okay, well, I'll just... Um... Eat all the carrots. to meet you <laughs> again again do the part where he tries to buy you some candy okay okay wait here we go oh you're such a pretty little girl with the sweetie like a sweetie oh yes how about some chalk oh yes please kind sir my mama and papa left me all alone and I'm so very hungry I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> no bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, as you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. And came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> So, you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytilde, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Go on now. Does the beggar deserve it? Okay.
I guess we'll just start with this one. Oh, man, okay. Go there and we'll ride Frost over there. Okay. Yikes. Hmm. Okay, actually, I'm going to drop things off at my house really fast. And then we'll continue. Oh, I can't fast travel. <sighs> okay, well. I guess let's eat more food. <laughs> okay, now we're in a fast travel. Okay, we're back. Um, yeah, I just had to store a bunch of armor I had collected. And just some of the miscellaneous stuff. Uh, but now I'm really good on carry weight. Sami. a good shot. Guess we'll take that. Fine boots. Oh, 
Okay. Let's continue right along. Oh, there's so many. Oh. Can't stay here. I'll head to Wind Peak Inn next morning. Not coming back. Okay. I can't. Okay, take it. Which means free to loot. Fire salts, we need that. It's one thing to leave, but why didn't he take his stuff? Kill a mine boss. May use any means necessary. Okay. Uh, well, let's wait till my time since everyone can be super exposed. Is she not gonna go anywhere? There she goes. Heard they're informing the dawn? Or vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Vista. Divine safe. 
Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. Don't mind me. Just uh, hanging out. I got you sending one letter to General Tullius. I'll have you both executed. You never talk much about yourself, do you? I swear, these past 30 years you've been on my side, and I think I care about you. I was gonna say, I'm gonna get caught if I do just do it right here out in the open. Ah, <sighs> taking forever to get home though. Okay, look away, chickens. Can I do it from here? Is the next one. Frost! Psst, come up here! <laughs> okay, um, we'll just keep going down the line. I want to turn this one off. Okay, over here. I guess I'd rather ride from a place that's for sure safe. That Mike the liar? father was also called Maik, as was Maik's father's father. At least, that is what his father said. Maik wishes you. Okay. Frost? Can you come back up here? Please? Okay, well. Oh. 
Oops. Okay. Now we have to go get... Who do we have to get? Narfi. Or Narfi. Isn't he the one that's like all his family's already gone? Yeah. Exposed. <gasps> Sorry, Narfi. Back with your family now, though. Okay, let's go back. Mother is mother to all. Sisso. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for and delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn Our Lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. Um, We've got some business to discuss. It can't possibly I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the black sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Okay, well, let's go turn these ones in. Still here? Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Of 
course she 400 is. 400 gold. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Another 400. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Okay. Happy hunting. We're going to go ahead and call that episode there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching, please consider subscribing. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. So yeah, that would be super awesome. With that being said, I will see you all next time.